Hello, everybody. So, the last time we did a video was about this series of video about doing this uh, magazine display. This is the one already finished. So, we left it over here, over here. We did the rectangular pattern to do those shelves that you see over there. And let's continue with this. Uh, I see that we are missing the, let me hide these shelves. We are missing the dados on the vertical partition. So we need to create those. We have them on the left side panel, but we don't have them on the vertical partition. So let's go ahead and do those. For that, I'm going to hide this uh, case uh, uh, let me activate the shelves. Um, let me show again the case and I'm going to show the the sketch left side panel sketch. okay. We need to create now the data on the vertical partition is something similar that when we create this data over here this one over here I'm going to show it to you I activate this it's almost the same thing than when we create this one uh, this data but we wanted to create this a data for this uh, inset that we have over here. As you can see, we don't have the data on the vertical partition. So let's hide this for now, the shelves. Um, I'm looking at the left side panel and I'm going to select the profile. Let me hide the case. The profile for the data. Is this this rectangular plus these two little parts let me hit over here, extrude, and select these three profiles. That is a, 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 rectangle, a rectangular a little bit wider than the shelf itself. So now we have the profile selected. We need to go over here in this form, extrude form, and select offset. And the offset distance is going to be, uh, we don't want to open a parenthesis over here. It's going to be cabinet material thickness plus a horizontal opening. Those are parameters that we have, cre that we have on the table of parameters. I'm going, I'm closing the par parenthesis and now I'm going to divide this by two. And that is where we want this uh, data to start. So this is going to be a cut. And if I have these measurements over here, this distance over here correct, it should show over here the objects to, call, to cut. So I'm not seeing the object to cut maybe because the case is not showing, is high. So before I do that, let me put the distance over here of the inset. It's going to be, a, we have a parameter, inset. Oh no, no, it's the data depth. So that's the, the distance that we are cutting into the vertical partition, data depth. So let me show the case component. And now we are getting the objects to cut because looks like the measurements that we put over here on the offset are fine. So let me set the view to the front and let me uh, let me make it let me make it close up over here. As you can see, this is where this feed in this operation is going to cut 
just the value of this data depth that I know is uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch that's correct and it's cutting it's cutting right what I wanted on the vertical partition so I think everything is okay then I'm gonna click over here okay it says the object that I'm creating is not visible so I, I'm fine with that with this warning I I just want to uh, they just fusing this they wanted to let me know that that and that's fine with me so I'm okay for now I got this data created now we are going to create some more I'm looking up something over here I don't know what is that but I don't I'm not going to worry right now let me edit the the cut that we just did Um, and you know what? I supposed to 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 have activated the the sh the case when we are doing this. I had activated the the shelves. That's not correct. So let me uh, edit over here the the edit feature, and let me see if I select anything else beside that. that profile and I, um, I, I that's the only thing I selected I have profile selected over here three of them so that's okay let me hit let me click cancel but I'm still looking up something over here I don't know what it is but let me hit click let me delete it to see what comes up okay let's not worry about that for now so for now let's do these other other pinholes that we have on the left side also we need to have this channel created and this uh, pinhole for the bearing also so I think we need we could create all of them together so let's go ahead and do that Let's hit over here the extrude command. Uh, let me hide for a moment this. And I'm going to select uh, to, to show the left side panel a sketch again. So I'm selecting this profile, this one and this one, also this one, and all this. Need to select all of them. I select the whole panel. Uh, you just click it again. If you select a profile that you are not intent to do that, you just click over that profile you don't want to be included. Again, you click over again. So I have all of them selected already. Uh, the operation is going to be a cut. Um, the profile plane is going to be offset the same distance that we select on the other one. So it's going to be we open a parenthesis, cabinet material thickness plus horizontal opening. Let's close this parenthesis and divide this by two. Um, the distance of the cut is, go is going to be date of death. That's it. In object to cut, let me see if I have anything over here. Um, I need to show the case. And now if I click on the, on the cube over here for the views, if I click front, I could see that we are going to be cutting at the right place. So everything is okay. I, I see also the object to cut, which is a vertical partition. Um, I'm just going to hit OK. So now I have, let me hit over here, uh, let me hide 
the left side panel sketch um, let me hide the shelves and as you can see I, I now, now I have the all the data that we need and all the pinholes everything that we have on the left side we have that on the vertical partition so to recreate the other ones what we are going to use a rectangle is the rectangular pattern this one over here we are going to do that in a moment and we are going to do it like that because we want this to be and uh, we want this to be automatically so we don't we don't want it to be fixed to just one or two shelves we want this to be able to change between two three three four spaces five spaces and uh, five shelves four shelves so we will create a rectangular pattern using the parameters that we created before let's do that so now we have uh, all our data uh, so let's create let's select over here a rectangular pattern and let's create the data for the the upper data on this uh, vertical partition we are going to select over here features and we are going to select only this data I'll explain to you later why I'm use I'm selecting only this one now and the axis this this is like a, the direction I'm going to select this line this edge and it's going to be the type the distribution is going to be a spacing and in the second one I'm going to put over here one just one on this one axis one quantity I'm going to use the the parameter shelf quant quantity that we created before shelves quantity and the distance is going to be distance between shelves and that's it let's hit ok over here and now I have all the data that I need and they are on the same distance as the other ones on the on the left side panel so let's create another rectangular pattern for all these uh, features I'm selecting this one <coughs> because we create this feature uh, to all together I just need to select one of those data and that will be all access is going to be this one and the quantity spacing also the distribution is going to be a spacing and in the quantity I'm going to push shelves quantity but with I'm going to put over here plus one and I, I and the distance is going to be distance between shelves that's another parameter that we have remember that on the description of this video you will have a, a list of parameter a file that you can download and do whatever you want with, with it with the list of parameters that I'm using over here so as you can see I select over here the distance is the distance between shelves that parameter that I explained in the, in, the, in, in the last video the number three about how I came with that uh, distance and with that formula to get the distance correct so let me talk about the quantity I'm selecting over here quantity shelves quantity plus one and that is because always when you have like five if you have five, uh, let's say four shelves, you're gonna have five spaces. If you put if you put in a cabinet four shelves, like you can see over here, actually you have five spaces. 
so a one two three four five so that's why I'm putting over here and adding one to this parameter because I wanted to have an additional one in order to have all those features in all the spaces available so I'm clicking OK over here and now we have our our vertical partition with all the features we need to have we also need to do the same one with this one we haven't done that so let's repeat that features actually you could try to do that uh, together let's try to edit the last one let's hit over here right click on the timeline on the bottom edit rectangular pattern and I'm gonna try to select also these uh, features sometimes it will not let you do that and sometimes you're gonna be able to do it uh, let's let me de deselect the, the objects and I'm selecting again and let me select this ones it's not working so let me hit cancel and let me just do another one just another one with the same uh, with the same uh, values that we put in the in the last one so the direction is going to fit this one uh, quantity shelf quantity oh sorry I don't know what's going on I just made a mistake let me just undo everything and let me start again features shelf quantity the distance the distance between shelves over here we put just one and okay so that's it and let's do another one for the pinch the pins for the shelves select the axle spacing shelves quantities plus one and the distance is going to be the distance of I don't know why I'm doing this I do. I don't know I hit something that or maybe I, I hit myself the cancel button that's why I, I'm starting again plus one the distance distance between shelves over here we set one and click OK and as you can see I have everything on the left side also so that's it we are ready to continue with this now I'm going to show the shelves if you hide the, ca the case you s you'll see that the the shelves they have the insets on both sides so they are right now I'm showing again the case and we have uh, all the features and shelves that we need on the left side we are only missing the front board displays so let's create those for that I'm going to hide the shelves and just for a moment I'm hiding the the case let me show the left side panel a sketch um, let me hit over here click over here extrude command and let me select the profile for that front display and it is this one I'm selecting this one also and this so this is the front display this 
this one that you see over here. So it's going to be a new component and it's going to be offset. Over here we, we are putting the cabinet material thickness plus the reveal which is the space between the left side panel and the actual front display because this one is going to be moving it has to be a little bit smaller than the space available so we have two reveals one on each side and the distance is going to be the uh, let me put over here let me open uh, um, let me open a, a parenthesis cabinet material thickness plus horizontal opening let me close the parenthesis divided by 2 minus reveal minus I'm going to open a parenthesis again minus reveal oh, I don't know what's going on minus reveal for two let me close the parentheses and that's it click so let me show everything the case to see if, if this is correct uh, we are we are not doing something correct so that's why it's, it's so over here is I believe is fine and we inspect this from here to here. Yep, that's fine. So I need to edit this. Um we need to change over here cabinet material thickness minus Horizontal opening. Uh, that's it. Has to be backwards. So I'm going to put horizontal opening. Minus cabinet material thickness. Close the parentheses. Divided by two. Let's hit click OK and let me check again. If it okay, so what I'm going to do is to select over here inspect from this face to this point over here. That's the reveal, that's correct. So let's hit close over here. As you can see, I have a reveal of just one sixteen of an inch on every side of this uh, display board. This is where the magazines are going to be place so this is fine right now let me go back and explain to you again the the, the values that I put over here so to create it I selected I select the the, the, the the right the profile on this left side panel sketch and the offset it is the cabinet material thickness which is the thickness of the left side panel plus the reveal which is the space between the display board and the left side panel so for the distance the actual side of the extrude that we are making with this feature it is the horizontal opening the total horizontal opening of this cabinet minus a cabinet material thickness which is the, the thickness of this uh, vertical partition minus this cabinet material thickness divided by 2 
because we have two spaces. So we are subtracting the value of this uh, thickness, the, the vertical partition thickness, and dividing by two. Minus the reveals by two times, by two, two reveals, which are those on each side of the vertical partition. So I'm not modifying anything over here, just for you to, to check again. So I'm going to click cancel. So this is okay for now. If I show the shelves, this is how they are going to look. So we need to create more from this place, from board this place. And what I need to do now, I'm going to create a new component, which is going to be an assembly component. And I'm going to put it over here, display board. That's going to be the name. And I'm going to, to, to name this display board the component that we just did. Now I'm going to move this. I, I, I could do that before. If you check the, f the, 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 the other videos, you could see that I did that a step before. So when we, I, when we create a component, that component became right into the, the assembly component. So I did it backwards now, but that's okay. I'm going to name this display board. But I wanted to do that before I do the rectangular pattern. And I'm going to show you why. So I have this uh, activated. I'm going to click over here, rectangular pattern. And I'm going to select components, object type components. Select the object, which is the display board. And select the axis. I'm going to select this one. This is like the direction of this uh, rectangular pattern. Uh, over here I'm going to put just one, but over here on the axis one, I'm going to put the shelves quantity parameter plus one, because we have one more space than shelves. And over here I'm going to put the parameter on the distance, distance between shelves. And that's it. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to uh, verify that I have over here on the distribution spacing. If it happens to be a uh, extend, and I change this to extend, I will have to put the distance again. So it was correct. Now I just have to click OK. And just like that, we have all the the front displays that we have that we need. And because I had this activated, this assembly component display board activated. All the other ones are created inside of this one. As you could see, in Fusion 360, name them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let me activate the main component. And as you could see, we have all the no, we, we don't have all the parts on the left side because we are missing the the, the the adjustable shelves that goes inside of each space of this. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. And that will be all for this video. If you like the video, please uh, click the like button. Uh, if you like videos about the about cabinets, any type of cabinets, especially kitchen cabinets, closet, uh, closet uh, cabinets, please subscribe to the channel. That will, that will help me a lot. And if you have any questions, just write on the comments and I will try to re respond every comment. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Bye everybody.